What's up guys? It's Men and Kelly. And if you guys have been watching us, we are in Las Vegas and we showed you the Hoover Dam from above when we were first getting to Nevada. On our last episode, we showed you what it looks like from the water and how the drought's been affecting the water levels and the landscape. Today we're going to take a much closer look at the Colorado River, which is on the other side of the Hoover Dam, and it gets fed directly by Lake Mead. So here you see one of our tour guides from Blazing Paddles explaining to us that basically the way they were able to move the river in order to build the Hoover Dam was with using a lot of dynamite back in the day. Now you see us coming up on the Pat Tillman Michael Callahan Bridge, which is the second largest archway bridge in the country. Back in the day, if you would have traveled from Vegas to Arizona, you would have gone directly over the Hoover Dam. So once they started seeing about 14,000 cars a day, they built the bridge in order to take care of any security concerns. Aside from that, it's actually a really cool sight to see. We should mention that we're in a restricted area right now and there was a lot of security. Here you see one of the power plant workers. It's pretty cool how this tunnel was built directly into the rocks. Very James Bond type stuff. We were driving really slow and we just kept going down until we got to the area that we were going to launch our kayaks from. This is our tour guide, Ray. Her and the other tour guide set up everything with the kayak, so all we really had to do was step in and sit down once they were in the water. I should mention that the water was about 50 degrees when we were there. The temperature outside is about 110. to the bottom. Traveling Robert, Traveling Robert would be like, I wonder what's in there. So what's a typical breakfast for you on a day like this? Ooh, I actually am terrible at eating breakfast. Sometimes I'll, like, I'll get to work and I'll like raid the snack bag. I'll be like, all right. <laughs> oh, awesome. Very cool. If you guys didn't hear, that's our awesome tour guide Ray saying that the natural spring that flows from the rocks is actually hot water. So you'll get pockets of hot water and cool water when you go by the springs. Yeah. 
I was also keeping an eye out for the hills have eyes type of people. This water is actually really warm. Oh, that's a good picture. It's a good picture. There's men with the hot springs. Let's go, boo. Baby, 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 look at me. Ay, ay, ay. Min, look at me. No, put your phone away. Okay. I really liked how crystal clear the water was. Here you see the cool water mixing with the warm water making steam. The beginning was one of the more peaceful parts of our kayak adventure. But there are parts where there's going to be a current and there's going to be wind. So you actually need to keep paddling or your kayak will actually go backwards. Something else I was looking for besides watching out for hill people was longhorn sheep. I thought it'd be really cool if we could get to see some of those. On our second hike, Ray was going to show us a whole bunch of hot springs. I thought that was really cool. I've never seen a hot spring before. horns on it. <laughs> we're going to see this a couple more times when we're heading up the canyon. Are you able to drink the water that comes out of the rock? Um, you can. I wouldn't though. Gotcha. Um, there's an amoeba in the water that you just don't want to get up your nose. Sure. Um, like one time I came down here, so I was making oatmeal to drink water, and I was like, oh. I don't know if you want to do that. He's like, nah, it's fine. I've done it before, and I was like, okay. 
So guys, if you go on this hike, make sure you have the right kind of sandals, unlike Kelly. Here you see what will probably be the most dangerous part of the hike. This is a metal ladder in front of a little waterfall that can get a little bit slippery. Make sure you're careful. sorts of dangerous creatures in the water but we're we're gonna brave it for you guys for the viewers uh well this one was sitting over there and that water oh, it feels nice though it does feel nice yeah. now it feels nice yeah gonna do it for me. It's about the same in this next one I think. Oh this oh no it is that's too hot. Ah! I do it for you guys. Oh, that's hot. A big no-no would be using the bathroom back here. This area gets very little rain, so that would make it really unpleasant for people. Please don't do that if you go here. Ooh. See, this is up to my waist now. So here you guys see me holding a sandal. Basically, Kelly broke her sandal because she didn't bring the right kind, and I switched sandals with her because I'm such a gentleman. 
Now, luckily, people have been keeping this area clean, so there wasn't any broken glass, and most of the rocks were actually smooth. It isn't a longhorn sheep, but here's a big lizard we saw out here. Not a really big deal if you come from Florida. His name is Chuck. Some nice sandals you got there. <laughs> yeah, from a nice guy. Another thing I should mention is this was a 12 mile kayak ride. So you definitely need to be ready to kayak 12 miles. Luckily, Ray brought a ton of snacks and drinks and lunch for us. Now you hear the wind start to kick up, so it's going to make it a lot harder. That's right. Get you a girl that's so strong you don't even need to paddle sometimes. What? Nothing, baby. Nothing. Where are you, mountain goats? See, now the boat's actually just staying perfectly still. We got out of the wind. Do you guys do tours like every day? Mm -hmm. um, it's always like there's booking. <laughs> You did see him or you don't see him? I did earlier. Now I no longer do. <laughs> I think I'm glad you didn't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. okay, gotcha, gotcha. As I mentioned, the water is really cool. So after paddling and being in the sun all day, it feels nice to cool off. It's a river mermaid. What's up, craw daddy? I'm sorry for eating you guys by the pound. He's like, get a little closer, buddy. Yeah. Get a little Come closer. What a pretty guy. I got something for you. Very cool. Right when I thought we weren't going to see any, towards the end of our trip, look at all those longhorn sheep. Think about how tough these guys have to be to live out here. And look at how easily they blend in with everything. That pretty much wraps up our kayaking adventure on the Colorado River. We hope you guys enjoyed. After that, we definitely treated ourselves to some l and barbecue. Here you see the spare rib platter that I love. 
And Kelly got the barbecue mix, which is basically spare ribs, chicken, and barbecue beef. We definitely recommend you guys checking out L&L Barbecue. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching. We post a lot of content about travel and food. So if you see the like, notification, and subscribe button, act like a longhorn sheep and give it a ram. Thanks again for watching.